War Thunder is an online multiplayer game and these are the minimum system requirements to play this game on your PC. This was how my game was working before doing any tweaks. But after doing all the tweaks shown in this video, this is how my game works. It literally jumped from working on 30 FPS to 150 FPS. All you need some simple tweaks. This is low end gaming so as you have seen the results, let's see the process and get started without wasting any time. For the first step, we will change the in-game settings of the game. So open your games, click on options and go to graphics. Now follow me. Change the mode to full screen and resolution to 720p. Now follow me. Change the anti-aliasing method to off, anisotropy to off and nvidia reflex low latency to boost. And if you have frame generation option then turn it on. Now change the graphics quality to minimum and make sure all other settings are set to the lowest possible. Or just follow me and copy my settings as it is. After changing all the settings, click on ok and restart your game once so that all changes take place. Now try your game. This is how my game works after changing the in-game settings. Well it was running on 30 fps but not that smoother. I hope uh, you got some fps boost but you know what we can do more better. So let's see the next step. For the second step, we will change the config file of the game. So for the config file, go to steam library, steam apps, common, war thunder and open the config file with notepad. Here you don't have to do anything, just go down in the description below and copy the text and just replace it here. After replacing the text, save the file and make sure to set the file as read only. Because if you don't do that, the game will revert all the changes. After doing this process, now just launch your game and enjoy the high FPS. So this is how my game works after changing the config file. As you can see, it's a massive 100 FPS boost. Before the game was running on only 30 FPS and now it's running on nearly 150 FPS. Which is way more smoother and without any lag. I hope your game is now running smoothly. But uh, there are some small simple steps to get even more FPS and performance. Follow me. So for the final step of this video, we will add some steam launch commands so that the game will run on the highest priority. For that, go to steam, go to library and right click on the game icon and click on properties. Here paste the commands I have given in the description below. Now in the threads, you should add the number of logical processors your PC has. To check that, open your task manager, click on performance and as you can see here the logical processors are given. In my case it's 8. It may be different in your case. Just type it in and we are done. So guys we are done with all of these steps. I hope your game is now running smoothly and on a higher FPS. So this was it for this video. I hope this video helped you. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make videos on any other game. See you all in the next one.